the future of solar is the fact that it's growing. The current state of the solar industry um, is interesting because when it first started, uh, the industry was relatively small. And since 2010, the industry has grown significantly. Solar is no longer an alternative energy. Solar is now mainstream. Uh, solar projects installed in the United States every 100 seconds now. It, it, the price has decreased so much that it's become more competitive than a, a lot of the traditional forms of power production. Solar parks are great for landowners. We can predict accurately how much production from the solar facility we're going to get on an annual basis. And in addition to that, we can predict how much we're going to get on a revenue basis as well. When a landowner signs a lease for a project, they can expect a stable source of income for the entire life of that project. Farming is uncertain. On the farm, you don't never know what you got coming in. Solar is a, is a certain income you're going to have coming in. Stable income will help anybody. You know, you sleep a lot better at night. I think land is very precious, but if you've got a field that you're not producing any vegetation, why not do a lease and receive a paycheck for land that you already own? A lot of community members don't even know where these solar sites are at. They're, they're, they're pretty well hidden, but a lot of them have told me that they love the fact that those solar sites are there. We want to make sure that our local communities um, have pride in what we do. Usually when we build a project in a local community, we support lots of other efforts. We, we support not only with tax dollars, um, communities that might not otherwise have a good stream of income, um, but we support with community donations and, and other activities. And when we build the projects, we try to place them behind tree lines or out of sight. I don't think there's anything unappealing about them. They put up some shrubbery around the parts that you can see from the road. The products are clean and neat and maintained and I've been paid on time. EDP, I've, my experience, they've been extremely trustworthy. I have been extremely pleased. We value the relationships we get to build and develop with our landowners. We want to be seen as a, a partner. Um, we want to be seen as transparent. We want to make sure that if there's a concern, that the landowner feels comfortable coming to us directly and, and letting us know. And then we want to make sure that we're addressing it. Um, we take that very seriously. EDPR has been around for over 15 years developing and building renewable assets from wind farms to solar projects. As a result of building so many projects uh, over the life of the company, we've gotten really good and really refined at how we develop and build and operate. There are three main things that uh, we look for when we're developing a project. The first is, where is the resource? Um, for solar projects, it's obviously where is the best sun resource? The second thing is, where is there a transmission line that we can tie into, that we can connect to and deliver the power to? And the third, where can we find landowners and local communities that would like to have a project in their area? EDPR takes a lot of pride in carefully, meticulously building relationships with our landowners, developing leases that include any of their concerns. That we make sure that we work out all issues with a landowner before we sign. They work really hard to get a contract that fit our needs and their needs and we're very accommodating. The leases that the EDPR signs with our landowners are often up to 30 years and they typically include an option to extend. And this generates a stable source of reliable income for landowners. When we build a solar project, we try to make sure that the impact that we make to the land is as minimal as possible. In my land unit construction has been taken real good care of. And, and if it wasn't, they took care of it after it was finished. As we take the project down and decommission it, it's really important to us to ensure that we're restoring the land to the landowner's expectation. And so by the time we're done, you shouldn't be able to tell we were ever even there. They haven't done anything that can't be removed off the land. Everything can be returned back to the way it was. The EDPR sees solar as a really important part of our business going forward. Um, the solar industry as a whole is growing ridiculously fast. Solar energy is going to be the main production of energy in the future. There is more energy to be made from solar than the entire world can possibly consume. It is pretty neat to think that the land we farmed for years is now producing electricity, you know. I never would have dreamed that. I'm very happy that, we, that I'm able to say that I work for EDPR, that I drive down the highway with an EDPR symbol on my truck and um, people can say, hey, he's He's helping us. The work we're doing at EDPR is making a difference. It's making a difference for my kids. I feel like I'm leaving the world better off. And to me, that's a big deal.